Hi everyone, it's day five of Inktober and the prompt for today is Blade. I had this sketch prepared ahead of time. This was one that I was actually pretty excited about. Though it's only a few days in and I'm already finding myself second guessing a lot. I'll have a sketch that I really like and then when the day comes to actually ink it, I start to ask myself, is this enough? I'm sure that's kind of a universal struggle when it comes to art challenges, especially Inktober where you're making art every day because nobody can make 31 stunning pieces of art in 31 days. There are going to be natural moments that are ups and downs, times when inspiration and motivation come easy, and other times when you're staring at the paper and wondering what exactly you're doing with your life. <laughs> I definitely have to actively remind myself that this challenge is not for other people. So those times when I'm feeling motivated and productive, I go with it, and the times when I don't feel that way, I try to remember to give myself a bit of a break while also pushing just a little bit to draw even when I don't feel like drawing. Because I really believe those are the kind of defining moments of Inktober or any art challenge. Not to say that people shouldn't take days off or uh, you know, take a break if they want to, because of course you should. Just that for me, it's important to try to ignore that voice in my head that says I'm not enough or people aren't going to like this. So pushing those feelings down and just kind of drawing anyway and posting my drawing anyway, that's what Inktober really is about for me. Anyway, I really liked the concept of a cute girl with a giant knife. It definitely has some spooky vibes to it, especially when I made the last minute decision to leave her pupils like all white because it kind of gave it a little bit of a ghostly kind of look. Uh, I also really enjoyed the little pattern that I did on the shirt because it's really girly and gives a nice contrast to those ominous dangling knives in the background. So overall, this piece was definitely fun to draw.
Day six was Rodent, and the original sketch that I'd done for this one was my absolute favorite out of everything I'd prepared for the month. I thought the little squirrel on the shoulder was so cute, and I added like those little wood circles. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're called or even if they look like wood, but <laughs> in Procreate, I was really feeling this sketch. Uh, when I went when I started going in to ink this one, I slowly started liking it less and less. The proportions of the face looked off when I didn't notice that before. So I got kind of discouraged since I thought this was going to be like my favorite one and it wasn't coming along how I expected. Some spam number also decided to call me while I was filming and I of course didn't notice for like 10 minutes uh, that my phone had stopped recording. So a little part of the process is missing, but it was mostly just the squirrel part and uh, just me drawing a million tiny lines of squirrel fur. Uh, it's not that interesting anyway, so it ended up being fine. Um, I was having the same issues as I did the day before, which I'm noticing is becoming a recurring theme this month of liking a sketch and then suddenly starting to think it's too simple and not interesting enough, like halfway through the process and then adding last minute little details to try to make it more interesting to look at. Like this day, I did a textured background in a light ink wash at the last minute and I think that kind of adds to that anticlimactic feeling that the final piece doesn't look like the sketch and I thought it was so cute and then I just end up feeling disappointed. Uh, I really need to work on using the sketching part as more of a jumping off point for a drawing and letting it kind of evolve and change in the ink stages and not being so fixated on the original picture I had in my mind. In the end, even though it wasn't quite what I envisioned, it still turned out pretty good and I definitely enjoyed the process.
theme for day seven was fancy. And at first I definitely imagined a girl in like a beautiful fancy dress or something, but I thought it would be cool to do a guy in formal wear instead. And also a bit of a challenge for me since I rarely ever draw guys. <laughs> That's another thing I try to do during Inktober is draw outside of my comfort zone and this piece definitely was. Not only was it a guy instead of a girl, but it was a full body from head to toe, which I almost never do, especially outside of Inktober. Originally in the Procreate sketch, I had done the entire suit as floral, but when it came time to ink it, I uh, A, didn't feel like taking the time to draw more tiny flowers. <laughs> And B, I was starting to worry that a fully floral suit would look tacky or strange or something, so I just played it safe with the statement blazer instead. It's so funny how quickly the Inktober burnout starts to set in. Like, I already feel myself getting a bit lazy and almost, like, scared because the excitement kind of goes away and the motivation goes with it. So like I said, I have to kind of force myself, like, come on, just do it, just draw, it's gonna be fine. And it was, it was fine enough. One week is done and I hope that the excitement comes back in the following days and with it, a fresh wave of inspiration and confidence. For now, I'm just reminding myself of how good it felt last year to have done all 31 drawings and how accomplished and proud I felt. And it's almost even more so because of all those times that I sat down and made art when I didn't feel like it, when I'd rather be watching Netflix or taking a nap. And I think there's definitely something to say about that.
Well, I think that is it for this video. Are you guys doing Inktober? Do you have a hard time staying motivated? Are you going through burnout? Or are you just whipping out drawing day after day? How's it going for you? Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video in just a couple days. Bye!